Hi everybody, this is the Math 31 Optimization Review. This is question 5. This is a classic uh, word problem uh, in optimization here. Um, it's asked in a whole bunch of different ways here, but here's a pretty standard one. So Katrina is out in a rowboat. So here we go. So here's Shore. She is out here and she is, I believe they say, two kilometers from shore. Okay, and her goal is to get to her cottage. Okay, so this is this is her and her boat. She wants to get to point C, her cottage, in the shortest amount of time possible. Now, we're not entirely sure what should be done here, but we're going to assume that she's going to row the boat to hit the shore at some point A, and then walk the rest of the distance. We're not entirely sure how that should work. Uh, we do know that this distance here, if you can see that there, is six kilometers. And so what we might do here is let's make this distance here x from this point straight across to a is x and then this over here is going to be 6 minus x. Now there are you, other ways you could have done that but I think this this ends up giving us a situation that requires the least amount of work. Now the length uh, or the distance that she's going to row the boat here according to the Pythagorean theorem will be the square root of x squared plus 4. Okay, x squared plus 2 squared. So now what we want to do is create an equation based on the diagram that we've created here that's going to model this, and so the amount of time that it takes for her, okay, uh, is going to be the distance that she rows, okay, divided by the speed that she rows at, and I believe she rows at three kilometers an hour, plus the distance that she would have to walk, divided by the speed at which she walks, okay. So distance over speed uh, should give us should give us time. And so now what we want to do is, because we're looking to minimize the amount of time that she spends uh, going to her cottage, we're going to take the derivative, and we're going to take the derivative with respect to x, because that's the variable here. Okay, so basically, as we adjust x, maybe make that distance uh, larger, make the distance smaller, we're going to see how it affects her time. So t primed is going to equal, okay, in this case here, we're going to have, we've got the one-third, and then we're going to bring down a one-half, and this will be... Uh, x squared plus 4 to the negative 1 half times 2x. Okay. Now over here, I'm going to distribute the 5 to both of those terms here. So the 6 fifths, when I take the derivative, will be 0. But the negative x over 5, that's going to give me negative 1 fifth. Okay. And so now, here's, here's my derivative. Now what I want to do here is set this equal to 0. Now I'm going to do a little bit here. I'm going to cancel those twos to start off with before I set that equal to zero. <clears throat> and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that constant term over to the other side here. I'll simplify this a little bit. Uh, this will end up being x over 3 root x squared plus 4. And that's going to equal 1 fifth. Okay. And now perhaps here I'm going to cross multiply. So this will end up being 5x is equal to 3 root x squared plus 4. And you know what? I want to get rid of the square uh, the square root here. So I'm going to square both sides. I just got to remember to square the coefficients. So it's going to give me 25x squared is equal to 9x squared plus 36 when I square the 3 and then distribute it through. Uh, bring the 9x squared over and I will get 16x squared is equal to 36. Okay come over here. If I divide that out, I'm going to get x squared is equal to, uh, what is that, 36 over 16. Uh, there's a common 4, numerator to denominator, so it's going to get me x squared is equal to 9 over 4. And so x is going to equal plus or minus 3 halves. Now, when I take a quick look at that, okay, um, look at the diagram here, obviously the negative one doesn't make any sense because you'd be going the opposite direction. So this has got to be positive 3 halves. So essentially what we're saying here then is the solution. Therefore, okay, she rose to a point, okay, 1.5 kilometers um, uh, away from where she is. Okay, so Basically, we're saying here, she's out on shore here, she's going to row to a point that's 1.5 kilometers along the shoreline. And that's it.